vectors. Cloning vectors are simpler than the expression vector. Now let us talk about a totally different concept of uh, life cycle of bacteriophage M13. Uh, it's a uh, phage particle actually M13. And uh, why it is important? Because it can give us a single stranded vector. The type of study we have discussed earlier is always the double stranded vector. The vector we choose always is a DNA vector which is double stranded in nature. But we also require single stranded vector in several different cases. What is the use of this single stranded vector? For several applications of cloned DNA, we require the single stranded DNA. And also for the dideoxy method of DNA sequencing, we actually require single stranded DNA instead of a double stranded DNA. So if you use single stranded vector, we don't need to do much. We just extract the DNA and can go for the dideoxy method of sequencing. And the most important point of using single stranded vector is that it is very easy to determine the orientation of an insert if we utilize the single stranded vector. How we can determine the orientation of insert, I'll be telling you later. But we can determine the insert that we are utilizing. What is that orientation? That means if it is orienting from 5 prime to 3 prime this direction or uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise from 3 prime to 5 prime like that. Okay, we can, uh, we can derive this uh, mechanism utilizing single stranded vector, right? So how can we get this single stranded vector? The M3 fast particles are such a type of particles that can give us single type of or uh, single stranded vectors. Now we can see in this picture, this is a picture of M13 filamentous phage. They are also called filamentous phage. Now in this case, what we can see inside it, we are having one uh, DNA. We are having a, a, a DNA, which is single stranded in nature. And also it is covered by a capsule, which is having a gene 8 protein. It is called the gene 8 protein. Now what we can see uh, when we transfer this via process, say here it is uh, via the process of conjugation, we transfer this plasmid via the F uh, plus E. coli to the F minus E. coli through the F pillars. And after entering it uh, into the E. coli cell, what is going on inside the E. coli cell? Let's find out. So there are three different stages of the replication strategy of the bacteriophage in 13 DNA. At the very beginning, the DNA is positive, single standard DNA. Now, the single standard DNA is copied, a new strand is being made from the single standard DNA via DNA polymerase. So, DNA polymerase will act on, it will start making the double standard DNA from the single standard DNA and we see, soon end up with a double standard DNA molecule. Now, after making the double standard DNA molecule, this double standard DNA molecule starts the replication process via rolling circle mode. Now, this double standard molecule uh, or intermediate, double standard intermediate which is just being made is also called the replicative form of DNA. And the single standard one is called the single standard DNA. So it is called RF form or replicative form of DNA inside the cell. So this RF form will start replicating via the rolling circle mode of replication as you can see in this stage 2 picture. So it is making it in rolling circle mode. After making it in rolling circle mode, what it can make? It can make a double stranded DNA on its own like that. Now it will start making this rolling circle mode of replication and making more and more copy of this DNA. But until and unless they reach a signal from a protein called gene 5 protein. Now gene 5 protein always uh, expressed in a very very minute amount inside the cell but sometimes the amount of expression of this G5 protein get in increased. Now the process of uh, this double strand synthesis is done right after the infection, uh, right after one minute of infection. But the rolling circle mode of replication continues until 20-25 minutes uh, post uh, infection period. Now more than 25 minutes post infection period, when the gene 5 protein is expressed in higher amount inside the cell uh, of this E. coli. Uh, in those cases, this G5 protein can come and attach to the single strand which is displaced during the rolling circle replication and it will hold on to the single stranded DNA and it will make a single stranded DNA, uh, ligate a single stranded DNA and it won't allow this single stranded DNA to be duplicated. So what it do, what it does in this case, it is making a single stranded DNA during the rolling circle mode of replication and it is not allowing this to be a double stranded DNA anymore. Now this single stranded DNA can be packaged again into a virus particles and it can come back to its original form like that.
okay so this is a process uh, of the life cycle of m13 phase now it can carry both the type of uh, variety of dna single stranded as well as double stranded ra form right but we can take the single stranded dna for our desired purpose for dideoxy mode of sequences uh, uh, sequencing as well as we can use this single stranded dna to understand what is the orientation of our insert now okay suppose we have taken two single stranded dna so say this one is a single stranded dna with our insert say the insert in this red color so the insert is suppose in this direction and say another single stranded dna and in this case uh, this one is green and our insert in in this direction so you're getting the fish hook arrows this one is in this bottom direction this one in this top direction now how can we know what is the orientation of our insert we can utilize the single stranded dna fragments to understand that how say two fresh particles are there so we extract these two fresh particles and add them onto a mixture and we want to look for the production of a double stranded hybrid dna how because as these dna's are single stranded they are having a tendency to be bound with each other if they find complementarity and and we know that we are taking up this dna's uh, similar type of dna's the same type of dna's we are taking so it is possible for them to have a complementary region and to bind with their complementary region now if they are if we find found that in this case for example so what it can happen say this one so this will be the case in this case so this red one and say this green one okay now in this picture what we can see when we add them in the mixture we can see they start to form this double stranded dna why they are forming the double stranded dna because the orientation of the genes are in opposite direction this one is in this direction this one is in this direction if both of the genes are orienting in the same direction hybridization could not occur so by looking at this double stranded dna after providing the single stranded dnas we can tell the orientation of those genes in those two species are in opposite direction so we can get an idea about the orientation of the gene by looking at it and how can we know there is a double stranded dna made in each case we take this dna fragmentalize it and we run the gel and we can run uh, by running a gel we can uh, tell that whether the double stranded dna is present or not okay so if this the, this genes in the, the gene of insert or the inserts are uh, placed in the same orientation they may not hybridize so no double stranded dna hybrid forms if they are in opposite orientation then they will be hybridized and